it is. And then I looked at it. Yeah, which is good because you actually reminded me I need to do my laundry today. So. Hello, my name is Sarah Sutton and I look, it's funny. I forget how good, it sounds so, it sounds a little, I, I swear I mean this like not in an arrogant way, but like I don't dress up often, you know? And when I do, it's like, oh, oh, I forgot I do sometimes. I can sometimes look like this, wow. I have a sticker on my shirt from my jeans. Okay, I got you, and I might cut this to be honest, but I got you out. Cause I'm not sure about these jeans, okay? I got them at the store, obviously. And I'm just not, I'm not like a hundred, like it's a little baggy. Like they're a little baggy. But like, are they cute? Or are they too baggy that we try to take them back? Like, I don't know. I don't know. They're like wide leg or flared at the bottom. I don't know if you'd see. <sighs> I've gained weight uh, since moving in here. And I'm in, I've struggled so, 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 so much to find jeans that I like. And I don't know if these are it. Uh, I don't know. Like I feel like it just kind of like accentuates this area, but maybe not. And then like it kind of like cuts up here. I tried to face my mom, but she didn't answer. But I did just hear a text, maybe that was her. Like, I don't know how, I don't know. They just look funny, don't they? I don't know. This look, I just feel like it looks not as cute. They look cute. They look okay. I think it's okay. I think that's just the way of the world. Like, I just feel like this kind of looks a little funky, but... I think sometimes your confidence can be your confidence in beyond what you look. I think they look fine, and I think they're cute. Yeah. And they're comfy, which is what you need when you're driving and traveling. True. Okay, I think we're sticking with the jeans. And it is what it is. Oh my gosh. Especially because Little Miss is enjoying chewing on them. Bumming. No. Bumming. No bite. No bite. Being an adult, it's just hard. Your body changes. Ugh. My confidence is like still, it's like I'm, I'm like a teenager again with body confidence. So we're working on it. <clears throat> working on it. Where do I start? I'm gonna start sucking. It's <laughs> not the word I thought you were gonna use. Sucking what? <laughs> no, just like in general. Just like him. He wasn't sucking. Jeez, that's not like one of the top three. Sarah, no. And you're the one that writes the spicy stuff. <laughs> I'm the one that writes the sweet stuff. Good lord. Yeah, simple things. It's not that hard. Y'all, I'm an idiot. So you know how in the previous vlog I was talking to you about how I was sick and how I'm like, oh, I think it was the cookies. From that batch of cookies that had made me sick that I think, I had four left. So like the cookies were there, I had four cookies left over and I'm like, you know what? It's worth the consequences. I'm gonna eat them. Cause I was craving food. I was craving dessert after I finished my client work. I wanted to celebrate and reward myself. So I ate three cookies and I was eating the third and I'm like, is this worth it? <laughs> At that point, it was too late. So if I am sick tonight, we know it's for Sherzy's the cookies. So I'll keep you updated. But I am an idiot and I very much so regret my decision because I was, I was sick. But obviously not sick enough to be turned off in the cookies. It was like not instant regret. It took two full cookies, but now we have regrets. So it was not in fact the cookies. I think what, or I think what's going on with the cookies is that I'm going to sleep before my body properly digests them. And so I pause the digestion process and they're not great things to have paused. And so I think that's what ends up making me feel nauseous and sick in the middle of the night. Cause I had those cookies. And I was fine. It is the next day. It is the next night. You can't, you can't tell. It's, you can't. It's 8.36. I am doing my final live stream sprint for Patreon. We are looking at Bo. We're keeping an eye on you. Your ears are flipped again, girl. How does this keep happening? How does this keep happening? How does it happen? Oh, oh. Ooh, switch. We're keeping an eye on her because we were playing fetch. 
and I threw the ball and she like whirled around to go run after the ball, but she whacked her head into this section of the wall, whacked it like, that wasn't as hard as how she had hit it, but <laughs> she hit it hard and it did affect her because she stumbled and then she ran back to me and jumped into my lap and just laid there. So she, it didn't hurt, it did. So we're keeping an eye on you, making sure you don't start to have blood leaking out of your nose or anything. That's the something about having a dog that I kind of forgot being away from my dogs for over a year. I am such, it's not a hypochondriac, I don't think. But like, I maybe, like, like for dogs, like for somebody else. I always think whenever they're sick, it's that they're dying. Like always. Like I think something's always wrong. If my dog can't lay still, I think, oh my gosh, you're dying. Um, so I forgot that I was that way with Giselle and Maya. And I have recently remembered I am that way with this dog. Um, so <laughs> my anxiety has never been higher. But it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I'm going to clean up my kitchen. I... I don't know if I'm going to keep you on for it. I am in my sweatpants. Sweats. But it needs cleaned, so let's go. I can't see. Ah, well, we're not going to film it. Ah, maybe we should. It's a time lapse. Ah, I don't know what to do. I probably look like such a little grungy girl right now. I kind of feel like one, to be honest. The only thing saving me is the curl to my hair. That's the only thing saving me.